Hey kids! So I'm doing a lot of filming over on my bed because I kind of maybe like dislocated my hip, lol. Huh. But we're just gonna jump right in. Um, the point is I can't really climb on my desk, but we're gonna jump right in. So I know it's not a Friday, but I'm gonna read this verse uh, from the Bible. It's Galatians 3, 28. And it says, There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. Okay? So we read, we talked about that in youth group a bit today. And I've really recently been thinking about that. I've been having this super long, intense email conversation with, you know, that dude I like talked about that one time, and the one who I, like, rewrote You Are In Love by Taylor Swift for, but also, like, for my best friend, whatever, that complicated mess, that guy. I've been having a lot of conversations with him about, like, how, because I felt like he was the person I could reach out to about how I felt after the Orlando shooting and just a lot of weird faith conversation. It's just, it's a good good thing. It's great. But, um, anyway, he was talking about how he didn't think that Christians ought to be focusing our time and our energy and dedicating our resources towards, um, sort of the LGBT movement. Um, and he, he's sort of thinking like, that these identifiers don't matter. And we talked today in church about labels, or in youth group, about labels and identities. And, I mean, if you look out in the world, people are being harmed for all sorts of identities. Um, ones they sort of can choose and claim for themselves, and ones just simply that other people project onto them. Also, I don't know what my hair is doing. This is what happens when I take a nap in the middle of the day. Do you want to be over there? Okay. We can do that. Um, so I've been thinking about this, and I wanted to talk about, like, what my ultimate goal for humanity is. Because, you know, let's be ambitious here. So, um, ultimately, I want to get to a place where people don't feel the need to use labels, or just don't at all use labels. Not just simply that they don't feel the need to, but just that nobody does. I want to get almost, like, this is gonna sound super sketchy, I want to get to a truly post-racial world, and I want to get to a truly post-gender world, and a post-class world, and I want to get to a place where these, it's not just that we accept these differences, but we just, like, truly don't care about them. And that verse is why. There, in today's society, we look at these differences between people and we're like, oh, we are equal in spite of these differences, but we don't really believe we're equal. But, like, this verse promises a world in which we are all, or at least all Christians, are truly equal, and the only thing anybody cares about is our faith. So as a Christian, that's like the dream. Kind of. Okay. And then there's the question of what does that look like for the world out there? It, does the world become divided into believers and non-believers? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I very much would love to live in a place where I don't feel the need to define myself by my lack of a gender or my attraction to people regardless of gender. Where I don't whip out the labels agender, pan, non-binary. I would love to live in a world where the Orlando shooting does not happen, first of all, let's be very clear, but where it does not have to be discussed in the context of the LGBT movement because there is no hatred specifically of people who are LGBT 
because that identity doesn't matter. I would love to live in a world where people are not shot because of their skin color and instead are shot because they're criminals. I mean, ideally we get to like a post-violence world too and a post-hatred world, but you know, one step at a time. And my friend, this, this dude or whatever, is trying, his perspective is like, the only way we can get there is if we just kind of ignore it. If we just stop using these labels, whatever. Whereas my perspective is the only way we can get to a sort of post-racial, or post-label place. Also, I am not in any sort of position to be talking about race here. And this is just, you know, there are probably people who will disagree with me and prove that I'm an idiot, which I encourage. Um, but, um, I think the only way we can get to this place is by going through this, by working with um, the LGBT community by working with people of color, by working with Black Lives Matter, by working to sort of resolve the tensions. Because if the good people, I'm, I'm being very arbitrary and dividing the world into good and bad, um, if the good people just start ignoring these divisions, these labels, then the only people who will be talking about them will be the bad people, and nothing is going to change. And so, the good people. Christians need to put their focus on these areas so that we can work through this tension and get to a place where these things no longer define us. I don't know. Just some thoughts. Thoughts from Azariah, thoughts from places. Hit me up, John Green. I hope you have a great day.